Good evening, this is Jonathan with the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma with a winter weather briefing regarding winter precipitation chances tomorrow and Sunday. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right in here this evening. Overnight, a fast-moving system sweeping across the central plains will bring a chance of light snow and sleet to portions of northwestern and northern Oklahoma. The best chances will exist after midnight and through sunrise, with light sleet the initial precipitation type. Nearing sunrise, as colder air begins to funnel in across Kansas into northern Oklahoma, the transition to snow is expected. Overall, light snow, maybe some flurries, can be expected across portions of northern Oklahoma through sunrise. Around sunrise, precipitation chances will expand to the east and south, with light snow chances continuing across portions of far northern Oklahoma along the Oklahoma-Kansas border. Across the transition zone, mainly along a line from just east of Woodward to Enid and down to Stillwater, there will be a slight chance of maybe some light snow and sleet mix, which will change over to a rain-snow mix late in the morning through the early afternoon. For the Oklahoma City Metro, there will be a slight chance of light sleet early in the morning just after sunrise, but any sleet that does develop will slowly change over to rain through the late morning and early afternoon. After a dry Saturday evening and overnight, another system will push across the central United States, a stronger system. In response, the chance for snow will return on Sunday. The best chances for light snow will be across portions of northern and central Oklahoma and as far south as the Red River. Initial precipitation across the Texoma region will be rain to a rain-snow mix, transitioning to a light snow, maybe flurries, through the afternoon. Here's the current forecast for snow accumulations on Sunday. As snow bands develop behind the cold front as it surges through, the best chances for accumulations of 1 to 2 inches will exist across portions of northern Oklahoma. There also remains a possibility that some localized areas will see amounts that could exceed 2 inches across portions of northwestern Oklahoma. However, it is difficult to pinpoint where any greater amounts could exist at this time. For the Oklahoma City Metro, at the moment, there could be anywhere from a half inch to one inch of snow. Locations farther to the south across Texoma will see anywhere from flurries to a half inch. For the most part, impact should be minor. However, as with any snow, slick spots on roads, bridges, and overpasses will exist, so please drive carefully. We have received quite a few inquiries lately as to where one can find forecast information regarding portions of eastern Oklahoma and Texas. Take the time to look at this map and find the office that serves your area if it is different from ours. This map can also be helpful if you are traveling this weekend. It's always good to know what local forecast office is serving the area you are in. The meteorologists that staff that office are the experts for that area. Okay, to wrap this up, we just want to remind everyone to be prepared for winter weather this weekend. Although this isn't expected to be a high-impact event, any winter precipitation can make roads and walkways hazardous. If you are traveling, remember to give yourself plenty of time and to drive slowly when faced with winter weather conditions. It's also going to be really chilly this weekend, so don't forget your winter hats, gloves, and coats. Remember that forecast can and will change, so check our website and local media outlets frequently for the most up-to-date forecast and information regarding the weather this weekend. And with that, we thank you once again for tuning in. Don't forget to check our website for the latest and greatest information. You can reach us at www.weather.gov forward slash Norman. We also encourage you to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again, and have a good night and a pleasant weekend.